A lot of people ask me, we know about the Big Bang explosion and how it created the universe, but what existed before the Big Bang? What was there when there was no universe? I often answer with a simple question. Do you know who or what you were before you were born? And the answer is, we don't know. All that we know comes from what we've learned throughout our lives. The universe isn't so different. About 13.8 billion years ago, our universe existed in a tiny singularity. After the Big Bang explosion occurred, time and space came into existence. When there was no universe, there was no space and there was no time. The terms before and after are strictly bounded by the laws of time. That's how we use them. But since there was no time, there was no before either. Time itself was non-existent before the explosion and started counting as the Big Bang occurred. So, when we ask ourselves what existed before the Big Bang, we're asking the wrong question. Throughout our lives, we've grown up knowing there is a past. We know what we did yesterday and the day before that. The human brain is trained in a way that it is hard for us to imagine a universe without a past. Just like it's hard for you to imagine who or what you were before you were born. Physicists Stephen Hawking and James Hartle have tried to answer this question through the Hawking-Hartle model. This model shows that it is possible to create a model of the universe in which asking what happened before the Big Bang is the same as asking where is the north of the North Pole? According to them, once you go before the Big Bang, time does not exist, and the universe we know becomes pointless in the absence of time. Time as we know it is just one of the universe's properties, and we still need a lot to learn about the nature of time. 